Okay, so this series of um, videos is going to be uh, is for my lovely Bella to go through the steps of making pickled eggplants. All right, so what you want to do is get your eggplants. The more, the merrier, because once they lose their moisture, you're not left with a lot. All right, so we're going to use three today. So the first thing you want to do is cut off the the ends, the green bit. All right, get rid of that, and you want to peel them. All right, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um, subject you to the time it's gonna take me to peel them. So I'll come back once they are all peeled. Okay, so now I've got my peeled eggplants. All right, it doesn't matter if there's like here there's a little bit of peel still on there it doesn't matter it's not the end of the world I'll get rid of it but it's not the end of the world so the next thing you want to do is slice them thin right so I've got this julienne machine well, not machine it's just a bit of plastic with some blades on there um, just to, to speed up the process yeah you can do it by hand, but um, I'm lazy, so I'm going to use the machine. So you want to cut your eggplants down into workable sizes um, if you're using the machine. So I'm just going to kind of halve them. Just so they're a little bit more manageable. And I might cut the, just a little bit of the tip off as well, just so it's a square edge, um, so that it can fit in your little holder, um, holder better. All right. So once they're cut down to a manageable size, we're ready to start slicing them on the, on the machine. There's another little attachment here which has extra blades so you can make thinner slices. Um, the last time I tried that, it worked, but I found the end result was a little bit too thin, so I'm not gonna use that today. Um, today I'm just gonna go for the normal setting. Um, I've put some electrical tape on the machine uh, over the bowl, just, just so it won't slip too much. It still probably slip a little bit, but not too much. I might put a tea towel down as well under the bowl again to um, try and limit the bowl from skidding across my my um, countertop. All right, so you got your machine here, so you don't get you have to get your fingers too close to the blades. Um, I'm not going to use it straight away because I've got a little bit of play. Oh, there you go. I just made contact with the blades with my finger so it's time to employ the machine right so you just run that through there until oops until all your um your eggplants are cut um, this little bum end, don't worry about that, chuck that out. So, see, so you end up with, like, eggplant french fries at the end of the day. I'm not, I'm not going to, um, I'll do the rest of them off video, uh, and then I'll come back for the next step. With the little bum sections that get stuck, um, when you're at the end, because the, the machine only allows you to get so close to the end of the eggplant, um, uh, you can just use a knife to just slice up that last little bit of eggplant. Easy done. Okay, so this is why if you're using the Julienne machine, you use this attachment, all right? Because by the time you realize your fingers are getting too close to the blades, it may well be too late. So the old lecky tape and um, hand towel and some Savon 
does the trick for the old homemade band-aid. Anyway, we've sliced them all up. We've got a bowl full of eggplant fries, as it were. Um, and you'll notice like there's quite a volume to it, right? So by the time we dehydrate them, there's it's gonna halve in quite in quantity, all right? So that's why we do the more the merrier. So you wanna grab a colander um, large enough to hold all the eggplants that you've just done and whack the eggplants into your colander because we need to drain them, all right? Get as much moisture out as we can. So you wanna leave that, you wanna salt that. Um, you wanna use quite a bit of salt, all right? The more salt, the merrier. Salt will help the process to draw the moisture out of the eggplants, all right? So we've used quite a bit of salt in there, okay? And you're gonna wanna weigh it, weigh it down with something so you've got something squeezing the eggplants to help that moisture come out. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a plate in here on top of the eggplants. Then, using my bowl that I just had the eggplants in, we'll fill that with water. That's just to give it some weight, so that we're, we're actually pushing down on the eggplants with something that's got a little bit of weight to it. So that's a bit weighty, all right? You could probably, like the heavier the better, really. And then you wanna let that sit for overnight, all right? 24 hours, uh, as long as you can, as long as you want, really. Um, but no short, no shorter than 12 hours. You wanna get as much of that moisture out as possible. I've, in the past, just because life's gotten in the way. I've left it for, for two days um, and it's fine. Um, I don't think you're gonna overdo it. All right, um, so we'll let that to do its thing and I'll be back in a couple of days to show you the next steps. Um, also, when it comes time to draining um, the, the water out of the eggplants, obviously you wanna leave it in a sink. All right, the colander in a sink so that the water that's being squeezed out of the eggplants has somewhere to go. If you just put it on your bench, you'll come back tomorrow morning and have a puddle of eggplant juice all over the place. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to put it in a sink, laundry sink, kitchen sink, doesn't matter. But just so, just so that the liquid has somewhere to go, all right, so you don't end up with a puddle of uh, eggplant juice on your bench. Okay, so. <clears throat> We're going on to our next step now. And I should have mentioned this earlier. It doesn't matter how much salt you use because it's gonna come off, all right? In the process of what we're gonna do now and when you're soaking in the vinegar as well, the salt's gonna be washed away, all right? So you can't overdo the salt at the salting um, point, all right? So now I've, I've had the, um, I've had the, the weight on the eggplants now for a day and a bit. I've been a bit lazy, so it's been more than 24 hours this time. So this is the bowl we originally used, right, when we chopped the eggplants. This is the bowl I'm gonna use to put the eggplants in now, right, since they've been dehydrated. Right, you can see the difference in size. So you, you're losing quite a bit of um, of quantity of your eggplant. It's the same quantity, but the, the volume is a lot less. All right. So we'll take the plate off there that was acting as our as our weight. Get rid of that. And then what you want to do is is grab handfuls of uh, your eggplant and just 
squeeze them. Right, squeeze them into the sink. You'll see like there's heaps of of uh, eggplant water coming out of that. Right, the more you can get out, the better. All right, I won't show you all of it. We'll just do a couple of handfuls worth. All right, so that's a big squeeze. This is where having cut myself the first time kind of sucks because you get salt in that cut and it's not great. So grab another handful, All right? Okay, handful there. And again, squeeze. All right, so you want to squeeze out as much of the liquid as is left in the eggplants. And then just chuck them, chuck them in a bowl. This time, not the colander, in a bowl. Um, because the next step is the vinegar. All right, so you want to have a bowl ready. That's why I've got this one, the smaller one. And... Um, once we've squeezed all the eggplants down, we'll add some vinegar, um, but that'll come in the next clip. Okay, so I've done all the squeezing. Um, the colander, which had the eggplants in, and look, look what's left. Right, there's there's hardly anything in there. There's really. We lost heaps with the squeezing the moisture out, yeah? So this bowl here, remember yesterday, was full. And now today, after squeezing it out, this one's barely halfway. All right, so next comes the vinegar. You don't want to use expensive vinegar. Um necessarily you just you, you just want to use white vinegar right so I just got the home brand one white vinegar and you just pour it in right pour it in pour it in pour it in until the eggplants oh that cut hurts until the eggplants uh, soaking in the vinegar oh that does hurt okay so you want them to be pretty much fully submerged ow oh, in the vinegar all right add a little bit more okay cool so that's that's that that's that step done right you might want to cover that or put another plate over the top just to weigh them down again so that they're actually they maintain their their, their position in the vinegar that plate's too too big it's not penetrating into the bowl let's see if i've got something smaller yeah look this little bowl here might be good enough no it's not doesn't matter. She'll be right. She'll be right, mate. The uh, eggplants are all submerged there in the vinegar. Oh. Um, there's not much left in the bottle, so I might as well add a bit more. Alright, so. And again, we leave that to sit for 24 hours. Again, it doesn't matter if you let it sit a bit longer. Um, I'm off work tomorrow, so I'll probably deal with it tomorrow. Alright, I might as well empty the bottle. Look at that. Alright, so that was probably started about here. So it's about a third of a bottle of, of white vinegar. Just the cheap stuff. And that'll sit overnight in there, just like that. Alright, and then, so our next steps will be adding some garlic and some oregano um, but that'll come later that'll come tomorrow um, once we drain the vinegar and squeeze again we're going to squeeze the eggplants to 
get rid of as much vinegar as possible. That's why you don't want to use good vinegar because it's going down the sink eventually anyway. All right, so we've got to add the garlic, the oregano, and the olive oil before we can put them into the into the bottles um, before mangiare. So that's it for now. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with um, the next steps to, for Nonna's pickled eggplant for my little Isabella. Okay, so we're ready for the next step. Um, I've been lazy, so it's been a couple of days that the eggplants have been soaking in vinegar. So these ones might be a little stronger than usual, vinegar-wise, but that's all right. So we've got the bowl of eggplants that have been soaking in vinegar and a colander. So you want to strain off the excess vinegar, all right? So whack that through the colander, like so. Okay, that gets rid of the excess vinegar. And now what you wanna do, like before when we squeeze the water out, you wanna do the same with the, with the excess vinegar. All right, so just give them a squeeze. Maybe don't squeeze them as much as last time when we were getting the water out because you want to keep some of the vinegar in there that's part of the part of the fun all right so that's how to squeeze and go back into the bowl the original bowl all right so squeezing the vinegar out down the sink that's why we don't use good expensive vinegar because it's just going to end up down the sink All right, so I'll, I'll uh, stop the video here while I do the rest um, because it's going to be pretty boring otherwise and then we'll start up again when we start on the next step. Okay, so now's when the fun starts, when we get to get a little bit creative. All right, we've got our eggplants here. Uh, you can see they're, they're all in little hand-shaped balls because I've squeezed them, right? But that's all right. So mix them all together, loosen them up a bit, all right? Get your hands in there. Get your hands in there and really spread them out, open them up a bit, okay? So you wanna add, this is where you add your stuff, okay? So you can add whatever you want. Some people can put, you can put uh, mushrooms in there, although you probably would have pickled them as well, done the vinegar process with the mushrooms. Um, we're just going to do straight up garlic and oregano. You can put chili in, but since I'm going to be giving some of this to you, Bells, I'm not going to put in any chili um, because I don't want to burn your bum. All right? So, we're just going to use garlic and oregano. All right? I've got this half a garlic clove um, head of garlic. And I'm not scared of garlic, and I don't think you should be either. So it is quite a small uh, head of garlic, so we're going to use all of it, all of the half that's left, all right? Just garlic, 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 garlic. Because garlic's good. Garlic's our friend. It'll keep the keep keep away colds and flus and coronavirus, all that stuff. All right, garlic is good. Very medicinal. All right. So I'm gonna. There's heaps of cloves here. I'm gonna get them all prepped, um, ready to go. Um, but. You, you needn't stick around for that. I'll um, kick off again once we're, we're good to go. Now, just in case, Bells, you are unfamiliar with how to uh, skin a um, garlic, 
I'll, I'll, show, I'll, do, I'll show you one, all right? So we've got one clove of garlic, right? So you cut off the end, the end that connects to the, the head, right? Cut that off, and some of the skin will peel away with it, right? Then just get the flat of the blade and squish, all right? You smash and then bang. You can, the, the skin will come right off. All right, super easy. Super duper easy. He says, peeling, having troubles. All right, so all the garlic's done. This is this is a do as much or as little as you want, right? It's all your taste when you're making it. So use as much or as little garlic as you like. All right, I'm using quite a bit. But, like I said, that's fine. We're wogs, we eat garlic. We love garlic. Lucky we're not vampires. Alright, so you get your garlic press. Load it up. Press the garlic. Use a sharp knife to just cut that, out, cut that off. Alright, at the bottom. You're going to end up with some left in the basket that's all right just add the more garlic and that'll break that down all right and then so whatever's left in the basket usually what I'll do is turn it out onto my chopping board all right like so and just give it a rough rough chop all right there's no point wasting all that garlic. So just give it a rough, rough chop. Beautiful. This is where you get your fingers all stinky of garlic, which is great. All right, so we've got all that chopped. In it goes, okay? Mix it around a bit, why not? Mix it around, beautiful. Okay, mixing with your hands, just get them in there, all right? You want to make sure you wash your hands before you start. Um, even I wash my hands before I start. So there you go. So next is oregano. Then again, this is as much or as little as you want, all right? So you just, you don't, you don't really want to have the stems in there. Because they'll, they'll spike you. So just rub the leaf off the stems. All right. I'm lucky in the bottom of this jar there's a collection of um, quite a bit of pre-rubbed pre that's already come off the stem. So that's pretty good. All right. So rub in your oregano. All right. Beautiful, smells beautiful oregano. I love it. It's one of my favorite smells. Rosemary, I think, is my favorite, it's favorite smell, but oregano comes in a very close second. Um, I'm gonna put just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Okay. Just like that. Beautiful. Okay, these stems can go back in the jar. They've still got some green on them. So you can get the oregano packets, the Hoyts packets from uh, Safeway or Coles, whatever. They're not so good, right? Those dried ones, they're not so good. You can get packets at the at delis. You get packets of oregano or still on the stem. That's what you want to get. All right, it doesn't go off, so you can just stick it in one of these jars, right, these mason jars, something airtight, and it'll last, all right? No, no problems. So now it's time for the second main ingredient to vinegar, oil. Aglio. So in it goes, right? Beautiful. Now, now I'll use my hands less because I don't want to get them all oily. So 
So we use a wooden spoon now and just mix all that up. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it all together. All right. Don't go overkill with the oil to begin with. Just enough to coat everything, right? Because you can always top up your jars with oil once you've filled them. All right, I've probably gone a little bit under, so I'll add a bit more. Just a little bit. All right. Cool. So now let's have a taste. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Maybe a bit too much at Egg and I, if I'm being honest. But that's okay. Over time, the uh, flavours will change. Yeah, that was a bit too much at Egg and I. All right. Doesn't matter. No for next time. So, you want to get your jars now and start filling them with your eggplant. All right, so you grab a spoon, kitchen spoon, into the jar. It's good practice to sterilize your jars by boiling them for 10 minutes or so. Um, I'm not going to do that because I'm fairly confident that these jars are nice and clean. All right. Okay. Beautiful. And the oregano, how I said it was a little bit much before, that will get watered down, diluted down when we now fill the fill the jars right got a bit of oil on the outside of the jar that's all right that's to be expected so that whatever oil is left in the in the bowl pour in with your eggplants okay so you use that oil up first And then we're required, boom, top up with oil. All right, give it a shake, mix it up nice, okay? And that one there is Bella eggplants, all right? That one there is for Bella, okay? That, that one's for the little princess for whom we are making this video. These ones here are for me. All right. Sorry, Bells. I got I got the majority, the majority share. But that's just how it goes. All right. I hope you've found this video to be educational and explanational, explanational on how to make pickled eggplants. Um, they don't have to go in the fridge. Um, in fact, I wouldn't put them in the fridge because the oil sort of congeals up a bit. So store them somewhere dry at a cool temperature in the cupboard. It's good. And then you've got them for, you know, for sandwiches. Your name kind of washed off the bells. You can kind of see it. Bell is eggplants. Um... Good with on sandwiches, good with whatever, all right? That's it. That's uh, known as pickled eggplants for my Isabella, all right? Love you. We'll see you soon. Bye.